Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm doing an unboxing of Band of Brothers Screaming Eagles from Worthington Publishing, designed by Jim Crone. This is the deluxe edition, the newly released deluxe edition of the Band of Brothers series, uh, Screaming Eagles being the first standalone game in the series, followed by uh, Ghost Panzer, and then the third standalone was um, uh, is the new Pacific title with the old breed. Sorry. Anyway, uh, so we did an unboxing of the remastered edition, which came out several years ago, and this is the third edition, um, and they keep improving on it every time. So let's dig into this one and see what you get inside. So Screaming Eagles is a Eastern, or excuse me, a, a Western theater. This place was in Europe and Normandy. Uh, Ghost Panzer is Eastern Front, and with the Old Breed is in the Pacific Theater. So, all right. So we start out. We have our scenario book. Got the artwork. Nice artwork on the cover. And it's not numbered. There are 18 scenarios in the in the in the first game. I think. Uh, so this is scenario book version 2.2. 2. 2. It it's not numbered, but there are 18 scenarios, so it's probably about a 20 page book here. So it starts off, you've got a infantry training scenario, capture the bridge, and then you go right into the day of days. So they've got you just straight into the game. So you get a turn tracker, like for instance, this one has four turns, this one has five, it tells you who has the starting initiative for the turn, and then your units. So you know they're gonna, they're gonna start you off slow, and build you up into into bigger and better battles. You'll notice this first one doesn't have any uh, armor. Those that'll come later. So tells you which map you're going to use and which direction it faces. So it looks like they go. They may go in order. So we got June 6th, then we got June 12th, June 13th. All of these in 1944. September 17th. September 18th, September 18th. So it looks like we're going in sequential order if you play them that way. And they get a little bit tougher. So Black Friday, Road Cut, see some of them go, this is a five map one, this is four maps long. The unit count is getting a little higher. Artillery's coming into the game. Turns are getting longer. So But each one's set up. These are these. One thing I do wish they had included in this, with the remastered edition, as a in the Kickstarter for that, there was a upgrade of all of the scenarios came on cards instead of in a book, and so you could just take that that, that card stock scenario out and have it here. You kind of gotta. You know, you like open your book and you do this and you got, you know, because you track on here and always have this for reference. So that would be nice if they would offer that again, even as an upgrade. You know, something you could just, just buy because I, I think it was really popular and it's really helpful to have that. So just a little, just a little free advice there. So now you got the Band of Brothers version 2.2 rule book. Now this is the same rule book that you're going to have for all games in the series is the system rules so in fact it says rules in green rules are green rules are for the Pacific but optional are not needed for Europe in green so anyway it's a nice rule book it's on glossy stock but it's not too bad in terms of reflection but it has lots of uh, lots of graphics you know to fill the space some large graphics explaining vehicle traits unit tra gun traits uh, a graphic here for describes your infantry units and your rules. It's large print, so it's not uh, it's not uh, too dense in terms of text. With you got graphics, you got a lot of white space, so it's pretty pretty easy to learn. In fact, I think you have uh, yeah. So you get to page nine, and it tells you how to stop. You've learned enough to play the training scenario, and then you go from there. And then you add in these new these new uh, like vehicles and guns and mortars and artillery and things like that later. So 
It's a 36 page rule book, I believe. Yeah, 36 page rule book. And then we have our player reference cards. You get two of those for 2.2. .2. One for each player. Or if you true solo playing both sides, and you'll just hold on to it yourself. This is the Europe Band of Brothers player aid card. It's got various procedures for you to follow for different actions. And then a terrain guide, notes, and then terrain modifiers down here. Good quality cardstock, coded cardstock. And then we've got our counters. So we've got two sheets of units. So green is going to be your American units. These are pre-rounded counters. That's one thing that's nice is the old ones were strips and you had to cut them apart and then round the corners because they would leave little fuzzies. But these are pre-rounded. They just punch and they punch very easily. You see I'm just kind of poking them out, barely touching them. So they're good quality, very thick, very thick counters and they're pre-rounded. So you just, you just punch them out and if you want to, you can just store them back in the cardboard. So we've got our American infantry, we've got decoys which means they're hidden units that are moving across the board. And we've got some German units here. Very little armor, got some guns and a few tanks. So that's counter sheet one. This is counter sheet two. It's already lost a marker. Yeah, just doesn't want to stay in there, does it? So there's our German units. And then we've got our foxholes and their terrain modifiers noted on those. And then some artillery and then victory hex markers and then you get a sheet of counters these are units and these are counter status counters uh action counters like op fire and i've marked the unit for op fire and then you would flip it and it would say used on the back movement counters suppression counters smoke unconfirmed kills illumination you got your command points and then some markers that change the idea uh, the terrain on the maps. So you got all buildings are stone. Ooh. You got markers that say there's no wood or buildings on this map. Crest line of a hill, no roads, turn markers, turn tracker. And then some that, you know, there's fog, orchards, woods, mines, etc. All right, and then we've got our mounted maps. So the early versions of the game came with uh, cardstock. You know, very nice, but cardstock maps that you know would kind of go together. Uh, and you know the curl and all that kind of stuff. These are very, very thick mounted maps. They still go together. There's no folds to them, so they still go together and make geomorphic maps. In whatever direction the scenario tells you to do. So let's take a look at the different ones here. So here's map one, and they are double-sided. So this one has a lot of buildings, little town roads, and then map four, and then reverse, in a wooded area. Map two. I like the, the subtle, you know, the simple 3D that's on here. Just enough for effect. This is a very industrial looking town. Busy town. All right, and we've got a river running through this for a canal. We've got a bridge. Let's see, that's going to be a victory point. This is map five. And we've got eight. Here, we've got some hedgerows. It's going to be difficult to move through. We've got the little road. Nine. So there's five of these, so it should go one through ten. In various combinations based on how the how the scenarios dictates there's another hedgerow map and then number six peace sign there and then that canal continues on seven and in the box we also have Worthington's very nice uh, vacuum formed trays that allow you to put the counters in here and your count your Units will be in here and your counters can go in here along with these two dice. Roll and white wins eight to seven. So there we go. Alright. So if you pick up a copy of Band of Brothers uh, Screaming Eagles, the new deluxe edition, 
you're going to get that preformed tray, the two dice, five very thick mounted double-sided map boards. Here you're going to get one sheet of counter markers, pre-rounded, two sheets of unit counters, also pre-rounded, very easy to punch, two copies of the player reference card and terrain guide, one 36 page series rule book version 2.2, and then a scenario book version 2.2 for Screaming Eagles that has 18 scenarios for Normandy in here. And that is everything that comes in the deluxe edition of Screaming Eagles Band of Brothers designed by Jim Crone from Worthington Publishing. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!